This is Mike Liddell's office. No business suits, no phones, no boss. And how about that view? This is the office, the lab for a chemist who works with rainforest. He's become a bit blasé about the scenery in the past seven years. You'd have to to get any work done. But Mike's passion for the Daintree will never change. He's trying to determine what climate change is doing to our most pristine rainforest. We need to know what the, the normal carbon balance is for this forest, what the normal water balance is in detail. With researcher Cass and crane driver Shane, they're measuring the amount of moisture on the rainforest floor, the leaf litter that falls. This is used to basically tell us how productive our forest is, so how healthy our forest is. They buzz up and down and all around the forest canopy on a 50 metre crane. Try not to cause any damage to the canopy. Conducting tests, taking samples, making notes. This uh, device here measures the wind speed in three dimensions. And this is what they've found. Well, the rainforest then, if it's going to run short of water in the future climate, uh, is going to have some problems. Uh, and we may find that this particular type of rainforest is not stable over a very long period in the future. In other words, the Dane tree as we know it could be at risk. Rainforests are usually considered the lungs of the world, sucking in carbon dioxide. But research here has found in times of drought, the rainforest struggles to breathe. The drier it is, the more it shuts down, releasing more global warming carbon dioxide into the air than it takes in. While the rainfall of late has stabilised, CSIRO predictions are that it will become drier in the future. And in as little as 40 years, this glorious green jungle may start to disappear. And the forest will probably change to a different sort of forest, potentially into a eucalypt forest. Perhaps now's the time to become a little less blasé. Sally Eels, Nine News.